be here. Uh, Matt and I came to the very first conference yeah. in, back in 2018, and it's amazing to see how much the Sydney church has grown, yeah. and it's amazing to see the exponential expansion of the whole Austral China world sector. It's very inspiring, so we're so grateful to be here. Uh, my topic is miraculous marriages, yeah. and I wanted to ask you a question to start with. How many of you like getting gifts? Yeah, everybody, right? What if it's like a really special, special, special gift? How many of you really, really like it? Yeah. So I want to tell you, when we arrived in Sydney last week and we walked off the plane, we heard this beautiful singing from the disciples. And I thought that was a great gift. And then we walked out the doors and there was... There were so many people. I don't know how many people were there, but there were tons of people. And that was even a better gift. Yeah. And then we looked in one of the disciples' hands uh -oh. Oh, oh. as they gave us yeah. a gift basket. And I thought, this is amazing. And then I went home to the hotel and I looked through the gift basket and it had my favorite foods. It had um, sparkling water, my very favorite drink, and the snacks were vegan and gluten free, which I'm vegan and gluten free, so I was so fired up. And you, you may wonder what this has to do with marriage, but it has something to do with marriage. Because marriage is a miraculous gift from God, just like this basket was a miraculous gift. As I looked more into it, I saw more and more gifts inside of it. And so if you think of marriage as the basket, like your wedding day is the basket, God fills it over time with these miracles. And the first miracle I wanted to talk about is married. God has a vision that will be more fruitful together. And you may wonder why. Genesis 1.27 says, So God created mankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. So I look at, Mar I look at a man and a woman, and I think, you have 50% of God's character, and you have 50% of God's character. So together, you create a more complete image of God. And who wouldn't want to be attracted, who wouldn't want to become a Christian or be a disciple if they saw a more complete image of God? So the first miraculous gift in marriage is that you'll be more fruitful together. The second is you'll be stronger together. Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 11 says two are better than one. Yeah. It says we'll be stronger together because we'll have a good return for our favor, our, sorry, our labor. <laughs> if one falls, if I fall, my husband's there to pick me up. If he falls, I'm there to pick him up. And then sweetly it says you'll be warmer together yeah. at the end. So the second miraculous gift of marriage is you'll be stronger together. together. And the third is you'll be happier together. Because in Proverbs 22, it says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So I'm just going to assume, brothers, you think that about your wives. God says you found a good thing. Genesis 2.24, Genesis 2.24 says, therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one. And isn't that what we want, sisters? We want to be one with our husbands. We want to be close and feel loved. And so again, marriage, in marriage, we're supposed to be happier together. And so these three gifts, being more fruitful together, stronger together, and happier together, are God's vision of what marriage should be. And I, I want you to look at your marriage tonight and go, is my marriage full like this? Or maybe... I'm going to give. I'm going to be the giver. I want to challenge you guys. When you go home from the conference, have a giving contest for one week. Can you outgive your spouse? 
just the good and forget about that we work through the bad and forget about it so focus on the good remember the good and number three live out first corinthians 7 5 don't deprive each other except by mutual consent and for a time so that you may devote yourselves to prayer so just think about are you living that out do you only not spend time together if you're praying okay i'll let you think about that one if you scripture it will change your marriage so you see god has created marriage as one of his greatest gifts and he wants to use your marriage your marriage to build his kingdom thank you